Hello, I'm Mark Stutrud, President and CEO of Lutheran Social Services of Illinois. Although we can't gather in person, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be with you virtually for the 2021 Central Southern Illinois Synod Assembly. I've used the words unprecedented and extraordinary a lot this past year. Living through the pandemic, I was reminded of the cholera epidemic in 1867 that left hundreds of children without parents. Lutherans rallied together to provide for these children and the beginnings of social ministry grew over time to what we know now as Alice Asai. Today, we serve over 44,000 children, adults, and seniors throughout Illinois. As a social service ministry of the three Illinois synods, of the ELCA. That same compassion and support uh, continue in service to our neighbors during this global pandemic. Despite the challenges, you and your congregations helped LSSI continue providing our services at a time when they've been needed most. Our staff have worked hard, rising to the occasion to deliver these services in new ways, and your support helped and encouraged their innovation. The Central Southern Illinois Synod has always been a strong proponent of our prisoner and family ministry programs. These services have been challenged by the pandemic because of its intense in-person work, whether in an employment skills classroom, organizing visits for children with an incarcerated parent, or volunteers visiting prisons to record our storybook project. We're excited to share that LSSI has been granted funding from the state of Illinois for our prisoner and family ministry based in our Marion office. With this grant, LSSI will be able to provide employment skills school more frequently and include a certification for OSHA safety training. The funding will enable us to hire an additional case manager and a program aide, preparing returning citizens for employment and place them in jobs this grant also allows LSSI to provide additional employment-related items, including uniforms, transportation to interviews, and new jobs. The Central Illinois Synod covers a large geographic portion of our state and includes children and families at many locations. To give you an example of our reach that includes 450 children through our Peoria, and 466 children in our Marion and Vienna offices. We are also able to expand our intact family services to help families prevent having a child placed in foster care. Our offices in Peoria and Marion served 1,254 families last year. I've mentioned that our staff have had to make quick changes from intensely in-person connections to video and telephone-based work at the start of the pandemic. I'd like to share a brief video from one of our child welfare workers in Marion that was taken at the start of the pandemic. My name is Brandi Campbell and I'm a child welfare specialist at Lutheran Social Services. I go into homes and ensure the safety and well-being of children that are in foster care. Just in the southern region, we have over 300 children that we're serving. We are now doing the majority of our job out of our homes. Um, many of us have our own children that are now home with us and being homeschooled too. I think the biggest difference is not seeing our children in person and having to do the video conferences and calls with them. Um, which has been probably the biggest change for everyone. I do video calls with all of my children. Um, I ask them every week if they have any questions or concerns or fears. Um, some of the kids have some pretty substantial fears about how this is going to impact them. I have a huge dog. She's about 120 pounds and she loves, she gets in the phone every single time I call a kid. And so now when I call them, they will say, can I see Fiona? So they love seeing my dog. And I had a little guy this morning say, can I see the inside of your pantry? <laughs> so, well, sure. So he was very impressed with my collection of honey. So just something funny and a way to connect with the kids. You never know. I am hopeful that when we come out of this, that um, people are going to see that as a community, we have to support our children and our families even more. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We know, we know that anytime there is any kind of crisis like this, 
our needs, our services are going to be needed even more. Our caseloads are going to increase. So if you have offered assistance or made donations, thank you so much for serving our children and our families and our agency. The experience of this staff member exemplifies and illustrates the solid commitment to serve throughout the pandemic. Although we've resumed in-person visits with COVID safety protocols, we've also learned some takeaways that we can use moving forward to increase the flexibility and responsiveness of our services. I think it's important to note the reflection made in this video. As a community, we must support our children and our families even more. Bishop Roth, Synod clergy, congregations, and individual members remain steadfast in support of LSSI. Thank you. Whether it's financial support, volunteering, providing church space for our programs, spreading the news of our services through your congregation or prayers, we are grateful for your support. There's not enough time to share all the good works you help us provide. I invite you to visit lssi.org slash synods for more detail about LSSI's ministry in the Central Southern Illinois Synod. Thank you again for all that you help LSSI accomplish. May we continue joining together in service to be Christ's love in our communities. <music>